Hour after hour, Mike was trapped in a torture chamber of suffering. I could be sitting watching TV with my kids and all of a sudden I'll get a surgeon. I felt hopeless for my family. In faith, Mike reached out to God. Because he met my prayers that day when we were listening to Robert Tilton. And from that day, I was healed. This pain was like if I had a, like a tight rubber band on my, on my head, you know, just squeezing my head like it felt like it was going to explode. Hour after hour, Mike was trapped in a torture chamber of suffering. Searing headaches and excruciating back pain had become a way of life, a life that was almost cut short the day of Mike's near-fatal accident. I was cleaning the freezer because it was my, my job to clean the freezer and my boots got filled up with ice in the bottom. Since my boot had some ice, I slipped, and I went sliding down the stairways, and I was banging my head on the stairways and laying on concrete with my head and then my back. Mike was knocked unconscious and immediately rushed to the hospital. All he remembers is waking up to a world of pain, unaware he was about to enter the nightmare of his life. When I woke up the next day, I had some blackouts, and I never did have no problem with my head. I started having some blackouts and I couldn't see nothing. Everything just went black. But momentary losses of consciousness weren't Mike's only physical problem. He also suffered from uncontrollable seizures. I could be sitting watching TV with my kids and all of a sudden you know, I'll get a seizure and you know, they'll start you know, crying and everything because they weren't used to it. And plus my back, you know, I couldn't lift up my little girl. Overwhelmed with frustration, Mike looked for a medical solution to his life of pain. But that too proved hopeless. All I can see, the pills and everything wasn't working, the therapy wasn't working, nothing was working, what he was doing. And then we on and on for a year and two months. For 14 months, Mike watched in agony. His life became a faint shadow of what it once was. Unable to work and barely able to contribute to his family, Mike felt his hope and his confidence slowly melt away. I was just going crazy because I couldn't do nothing. I felt hopeless for my family. That's the way I was feeling, you know, at the end, hopeless, like if I couldn't do nothing about it. While at home one day in his usual state of pain, Mike and his wife were watching television. They were about to hear a message that would dramatically change their lives. And then Robert Tilton said, there is a man out there that has, you know, back problems and head problems. And he said, matter of fact, he's ironing right now too. And when he said that, me and my wife just turned and looked at each other. In faith, Mike reached out to God. He knew the Lord could release him from his torture chamber of pain. So me and my wife got in agreement with, you know, with Barbara Tilton so the, so the Lord could heal me. So when he started praying, he said, you know, put your hands on the TV. And, you know, we just looked at each other and said, well, you know, let's have faith and do it. So we went ahead and do it, it's, you know, it's a partner. And as soon as, when he, as soon as he finished praying, he says, get up and, you know, bend over and do things you couldn't do. Uh, I was amazed because I could touch my toes when I couldn't touch my toes or get up with my right leg. And since that day, I didn't take no medication or nothing. And from that day, I was healed. The miracle that he received that day was truly unforgettable. Mike's once hopeless heart now overflowed with joy. It was a miracle for us because everything was gone. My leg was, my pains on my leg was gone. My back was, my pains was gone. And my headaches were gone, my dizziness was gone, and everything was gone. So I was amazed and happy, and, and since that day, it's when I, I had my faith growing, and it's when I knew there was a Lord that was listening to my prayers, because he met my prayers that day when we were listening to Robert Tilton. Just went back to work and back to my normal life. That's all I wanted to do is go back to my normal life. That's why I was praying for, you know, be a dad and be a husband and take care of, you know, financial problems and everything. So it felt pretty good, you know, to receive those miracles and to keep on sharing those miracles with everybody. Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the Most High and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. Psalms 50, 14 and 15.